it goes down the ureter, which is embedded here, and there's the ureter, and the urine leads down the ureter into the bladder. And on the female, the bladder is right here. It sticks up again like a little stub. In the female, behind the bladder is the vagina, and in the rat, the vagina is a Y shape. I'm sorry, not the vagina. Sorry. Here's the vagina, and this is the uterus, and the uterus is Y-shaped, and that is because rats have between 6 to 12 offspring, and they need lots of space to put those babies, those fetuses. At the very end are the ovaries, and it looks like dark balls or spheres, and in front is this little white snake, and that is the oviduct which means reproductive tube in the rat, and in humans we call that the fallopian tube. Okay, at the abdomen, at the very bottom along the spine, you can find the main arteries in the body. The blue one is the vena cava, and the one next to it is called the abdominal aorta. This is a lumbar vein, which we're not concerned about, but right here, this blue vein going into the kidney is called the renal vein, and above it is a thin red one called the renal artery. And these attach to the aorta and the vena cava. Up here in the liver, you can find a blue one called the hepatic vein. And underneath the lungs, you can find the thoracic aorta. Hold on. Move that skin. Thoracic. Okay. And above the heart, you're going to find your common carotids. I'm going to move the thymus aside, and you're going to find the common carotids. This may not come out very well. Okay. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. They're not. Okay. Let me do these. These two large ones here are called the superior vena cava. So above the heart is the superior vena cava. Below the heart is the inferior vena cava. Go. Okay, this is the male reproductive organs. Right here is this little tiny stub, and that's the bladder. The bladder can be filled up larger and look like a balloon, or it can be empty and it looks like this little stub. Behind it are the vesicular glands, or the seminal vesicles, what they're known in the human. There's also the coagulating gland right here, but it's very hard to see. Um, in front of the bladder is the prostate gland, and it looks like a clover to me. It's got one prostate, the urinary bladder, and the other prostate. So you have one, two, two prostate glands. These glands make semen for the sperm. Then comes the vas deferens, which is this tube that leads to the epididymis, which is where sperm is stored. And this round structure with the red little squiggly snake on it is the testes. And the testes, the epididymis, the vas deferens are all contained in this skin called the scrotum. Okay, in the female, she has the projection called the clitoris with the urethra opening. In the skin embedded behind the clitoris are these glands called the prepucial glands. And they create secretions to keep things moist. And here is a nipple on the female. So these are enlarged, meaning that she probably was just pregnant or she's just about pregnant. Okay. Is it ready? This is the respiratory and circulatory system. These right here are the lungs, and this is the heart, and below all of this is the diaphragm, which is a muscle that separates the abdominal cavity from the thoracic cavity. On the outside of the heart are the atria. Sitting on top of the heart is the thymus gland, and the thymus gland uh, matures red, white blood cells, the T cells, mature in the thymus. And I'm just going to cut open the sternum and you can see it a little bit better. Um, the heart is surrounded by a membrane called the pericardium and you can see some of it 
left over right here, that's the pericardium. And that's a sac that encloses the heart. Okay, this is the heart, and on the heart you can see these red and blue blood vessels. These are called coronary arteries for the red ones and coronary veins for the blue ones. I cut open the heart and internally you can see the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood is indicated by blue and that is on the right hand side of the heart and the red indicates the oxygenated blood and that's on the left hand side of the heart. The div division in between is called the septum and the left side is more muscular than the right hand side because the right just goes to the lungs whereas the left has to, has to take the blood all the way down to the tippy toes and all the way back so it's more okay, muscular. Okay so here are the muscles and I peeled those back and you can see the trachea and the trachea has these rings of cartilage that make it stiff so that it doesn't collapse and so you can breathe air in and out through the lungs. And right here is this little brown strip, and that is the thyroid gland. So here's the thymus gland, here's the thyroid gland, and this regulates calcium, and it regulates your metabolism. The esophagus is below this, under the lungs, you will find the esophagus leading to the stomach. 